Yo boys, back with another video. Today we're going to be playing on the good old fashioned Preservation Evo Gior. And, um, if you guys didn't know, I think I'm pretty sure 99% of the time, uh, healers actually gain less rating than DPS do. So, like, when I go 5-1 on this guy, I actually only gain, like, 20s and 30s. But then when I go 5-1 on my DPS, I gain, like, 80s to 100s. So, I don't know what their logic is of DPS gain. Maybe it's because they think their logic is, like, uh, healers don't really sit like you know two minute queues or whatever so you know they deserve less rating which makes zero sense because let's be honest healing is 900 times worse and it just takes a lot more skill than it does a dps that can just pve especially with like the meta like really the only classes that take skill and i would this is taken i mean this is like actual good class that are actually like good now obviously you could play rogue but you're never really gonna face a rogue like, unless you're playing at, like, 1800, like I am right now. But you're really not going to be facing at this rating. And it's usually not the case in a lot of situations. So, really, the only class would be Hunter. And that's only because you have to trap. And even then, you don't really have to trap. It's more like a an option. You don't really have to do it, but you can do it. That's pretty much it. So, I think this guy ends up not turtling. So, I end up using my CDs first because I feel like I don't really trust my teammates at all. So, he just dies to air. Because of the dampening's too high, I'm pretty sure. I actually can't even see what it is, but he ended up not just turtling, and we ended up, you know, not getting it. And, you know, we ended up losing. And then he tries to flame my healing, and you know what I say? I go to the healing charge, and I think I do 6 mil, and the h pile does about 2 mil. So he says, not everyone blames it on the healers. So, you know, I just go ahead and go, you know. Like I said, look at the healing. and he, The healing just speaks for itself. As you can see, I'm doing triple this guy's healing like you, best pally in game. And, you know, he shut his mouth after that because he knew he was uh, he was wrong and I was in and I was correct about that one, you know what I'm saying? I think they have improved the solo shuffle keys because they've buffed. See, what, what they just need to do is instead of, they just need to make every single class broken. And people will play the game. So, like, now that you see that there's way more variety of melee you can play, you can play DH, you can play Ret. You could play Unholy, and UHDK is actually insanely OP. I'm actually going to be gearing mine. But uh, yeah, you, Unholy DK, h Pal is now playable. You can play h Pal now, it's insanely good. There's just a lot more classes you can play. There's Frost Mage you can play. Fire Mage is still Deso, but it's like, you know, you're, pr you're pretty much just getting global one-shotted. So it's like, you have to be very, very fast with your reaction time in order to like keep up with it. And I actually played on my mind and went like all together. I was like... 12 and 4 or something, so it wasn't too bad, but, you know. Pretty much, I guess you just gain less CR as a healer, which is kind of stupid. And I've kind of noticed it, and then also with arenas, I feel like we still gain 0 points. So, like, you know, um, let, for example, we were 1500, and we were at 2100 MMR, and we were getting 20 CR at 1500 the entire time. Like, our max was, we, we couldn't gain any more. But this is, this is an MMR gap of like 500. This is not like, you know, we're 1500 and then we're 1600 MMR. We're 1500 and then we're like 2200 MMR and we're gaining 20s. So it's, it's kind of ridiculous, but, you know, it's whatever. You know, so I'd really prefer them to actually be able to fix the MMR thing issue. Because like any other season or any other expansion, uh, you know, if you were at 1500 and you were at 2100 MMR, you'd be gaining hundreds all the way up to like 1950. And then you'd be gaining like 35s. Like, you'd be able to get 1,800 and insanely fast speed. Le legit and under, like, a couple... It'd take you maybe, like, an hour Q session to get from 0 to almost 1,900. Now it takes, like, 7 hours just to get to 1,600, even if you're winning every single game. So it's pretty ridiculous how the uh, MMR gap really hasn't changed at all. It really has done nothing. Only It's only done something for DPS, and that's only in Solo Shovel. Because I definitely see the difference on my DPS. Like, on my Boomy, I'm already 21, like, 60. And you can definitely just see the MMR, like, your rating gains. Like, if you go 5-1 you're a little bit over, you usually gain a decent amount of points. But then as a healer, you gain, like, zero points. So it is kind of, like, frustrating to have to, like, try and sweat, so legit sit there till 70% damp to keep my teammates alive. Just at 1,500, even though I'm, like, 800 MMR, just to gain 20 points. So it is pretty, you know, irritating, but, you know, enough about that. Um, yeah, pretty much play every class, and as you can see, if you go check PvP me, I'll be playing everything. 
I'm trying to get everything to 24 hundo plus and solo shovel. I am still going for rank one in a uh, rogue, but I'm not gonna be playing it until it's good, because I'm not gonna like. Uh, I I wish I played it when it was solid in the beginning, like when it was actually able to do a like it was basically the same as last season. I should have played it then, and I thought I never just like every time I don't play it, it always gets nerfed, and then I never can play it again. So like the next time it's good, I just need to push to the, like the top five and just then wait and play alts. But like I seem to do that, I feel like oh yeah, the class is not gonna be unplayable, and then. By the time I actually want to play it, it's unplayable. And a rogue, yes, rogue right now is very, very insanely hard to play. Like right now, it's just no damage as sub. Assassination is unplayable. And then as outlaw, it's unplayable. Like sub is the only viable spec. And if you want to sit there and be a stun bot and absolutely get destroyed by everything, everything's just too so much better. Like instead of you're basically just throwing at that point. Like at that point, just play a different class. Because at that point, you're just like throwing people's rating away. Like, it kind of feels bad when you're sitting there and, you know, you're doing less damage than a disc priest. Which, that usually is the case, unless you're legit cleaving with your secret tech. Which is the only viable thing you can do, is just PVing as sub-rogue, which is the funniest thing in life. But, um, yeah, regardless, you know, I'm just trying to get my caps, trying to push. And at least it is pretty fun with these, you know, they're not bad, you know cubes like they're 10 minutes so they definitely fix those which is a lot of fun i can actually log on and at least play the game which is a lot better than what it was i mean there's still the issue of obviously you know playing a healer on the, unless like you play those one characters or you're able to play all day the mmr just does not change unless you're like 2200 mr and like 1400 tr you legit just don't gain rating so it's pretty ridiculous but uh yeah i have enjoyed healing I mean, as you can see, my heals are doing an insane amount of healing. Um, so, I have a lot of CDs to go through, and it's, it's just overall a lot of healing. Like, I really just, nobody really dies unless, like, they just die in the opener, or I'm, I just have zero healing left. Like, as you can see, I'm trying to use everything in my utility to keep this guy alive. I'm using my, you know, swap, or my sweep living flame procs to heal him up here. Pretty much just, I actually have fate cast in there. Actually, I don't even know if I do. I end up triankin'. But, um, yeah, honestly, it hasn't been that bad of a time. I just wish Rogue was, like, up. I just wish Rogue was up there. Because, like, obviously, everyone wants to play their main spec. And Rogue is the one spec right now. Or Rogue in general is the one spec right now that's just, like, you log on that class and there's not one spec on there. That's good. It's all just, like, you can sit there and do this and be stunning or you just don't play it. So it's really, it all comes down to your teammates. Your teammates can either carry for you or you instantly lose. Because you can't kill anything by yourself. You can maybe 150 something, but that's about it. So I've really just been playing other things. And, you know, obviously, as you can see, I haven't been uploading Rogue. I don't really log on my Rogue. So, and I know a lot of people like my Rogue content. And trust me, I like Rogue. I, I love playing Rogue as well. I mean, I still wish it wasn't Secret Tech meta. Where they would just delete this spell and then buff of its rate by like 15% or like 10% and buff Shadow Shrike and then just go back to Shadowlands Rogue. You know, that would be a lot more fun, but I highly doubt that's going to happen anytime soon. The moment where Rogue is actually takes a little bit of skill is the moment nobody's going to play it. Because it obviously nobody played it in Shadowlands and there's a reason for that. Because people just aren't, they want to be able to click one button. They're going to play a class that clicks one button, you burst, and then you use one button rotation, just like Unholy DK. You click burst, and then you click death coil and mortal wounds, which is automatically put on them. So that's, you know, you're just doing unhealable damn. Or I'm pretty sure he has to summon out the goons in order to, uh, you know, put wounds on them. I'm not really sure how it works now. I mean, I know that you had to summon the big dude in order to get wounds on everybody, but I don't know about now. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep up with the daily content, boys, and post whatever I can post. Obviously, I still enjoy playing it, and I still enjoy up, you know, uploading. But um, it does kind of suck that I can't do rogue content. I end up getting this guy out, I end up rooting him. But um, you know, it is what it is. It just it comes down to a point to where when your class is unplayable, I'm you really just don't want to be forced to play a class. And on my rogue, it's like, uh, I just get fumed every time I log on rogue. You go there, you get one-shotted. Yeah, you have a bunch of utility to live, but, like, what's the point when you can't kill anything? You could see something, CC something for 10 years, which actually which isn't even the case in that situation either because you can't even stab all blind unless you cheap shot beforehand. 
and there everyone has so much utility now to where they can help their teammates in like every way. Like evokers are basically tanks now. Like the uh, the new evoker spec is a legit tank. Like you'd have better luck killing a tank. You'd have better luck killing like anything else. That is the tankiest class in the entire game. So like if you want to play at something a tank, that's what it is. It's a tank healer DPS. That is what that spec is. So this guy ends up almost dying right here, so I end up having to yank it in. But as you can see, my heals overall are pretty insane, and I'm not even full gear either. I'm, I'm like 444 item level, and I'm not even, yeah, so I'm, I'm getting there. But I'm still not geared, or I'm geared, obviously, but I'm not fully geared, which is like, I love being fully geared on my character, so I'm not missing out on that extra healing or whatever. But uh, obviously right now, as you can see, the healing's really not the problem. We're living far enough, it's just like, we don't have the damage to, like, end the game. Which is, this is what happens when you have two rogues in the same lobby. You kind of just throw it for everybody else. Like, if we had a DK or any other class, these games would be over in, like, 30 damn max. And these wouldn't be going up to, you know, anywhere close. But, uh, he ends up dying there, and, uh, you know, it is what it is. And then now I get the hunter on my team. So, double rogue. Now, this was pretty, this was, oh... And now on top of that, I also had the uh, the hunter. So, and this guy didn't doesn't turtle for like three matches in a row. So, but you know what ifs, what ifs. I wish they would have unlimited conquest already, so we can farm that. And then they should also bring out the boxes too, so where I can buy. I know they bring out this one thing to where some boxes have a chance of giving you these conquest tokens, to where you can, if you're like, I, I think it's like a catch up system. But at this point, you might as well just add in the boxes so I can send them to my ults. So at least then, you know, I don't have to fully gear a new person. I can start off with them with conquest boxes, which is like a lot better. Nobody wants a full honor gear and then full conquest gear because, like, it's just not worth it. Like, it's the, the games after like three weeks, bro. Nobody really wants to do that stuff. They just want to get full gear, play the game, and log off. Like, people don't. People, the thing that I think the thing that the Blizzard just doesn't know, but I think everyone else knows, everybody that doesn't get paid to play this game can play for like an hour and then they want to log off. Like even people that get paid, they they even say it themselves. They're like, "Yo, I'm, I can play for like max two hours, and then I gotta get off." Like hey, you just cannot play this game. You don't have fun playing the game. He ends up blinding me. I trinket the blind. Always trinket blinds unless you know you can hold the first one. But uh, as you can see, they've already used double blind, double everything on me. I've basically been CC'd for the entire game. So they've done really good CC on me. But since I used my trinket on that exact spot, it was like I was able to keep them all on. And he also still has trinket and pad second turtle. And we end up killing him. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, peace.